<laughs> good day, good day. How the honk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. And if I got something for you today, one up Wednesday, it's in a package. And uh, oh, I probably can't even read it. Let's just zoom up here. Yeah, it's uh, lots of toys. Uh, New York, College Point, New York. I bought this off of eBay. And uh, yeah, kind of funny story. Um, I'm just going to unwrap it here while we're talking. We're going to go around this way. Sorry for that. We've got to go this way. Um, so <laughs> you're going to see this and you're going to say, Dad, you already got one of these. Well, it just so happened. Nicely packed, by the way. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, let oh, I done, done Biff the camera and everything. So let me uh, show you what it is and we'll talk about it, all right? But bam! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I have the Rebel Land Rover Series 3 109 long wheelbase wagon here. Yes, sir. -y. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, as if you uh, guys follow me at all, you will know that I already got one of these from my good friend. Joseph, Joseph Lowe, yeah, and that uh, was kind of a one, two, three kind of thing. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I bought it from Joseph, and I already kind of put a bid in or whatever for this or whatever, and bam, I, <laughs> I got him. So about the same price, about thirty bucks, uh, thirty-five bucks, I think, for this last one. Uh, Joseph is about thirty bucks, but you know what? Now that I have two, I gotta set that over there. Now that I have two, you know what that means? We're gonna open one, yes. Now, if you guys don't know anything about this, uh, this is Revel. This is one plastic model kit. Uh, Land Rover Series 3, long wheelbase station wagon. Now, this came out in uh, 2019. Yep, there it is, 2019. So, uh, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Uh, there's some details of the vehicle uh, made in uh, Poland, huh? Decals printed, printed in Italy. Well, there you go, there you go. Yeah, there it is. Little uh, thing says it manufactured in Poland. Yeah, ages 13, level five, scale 124 scale. Uh, a little bit more details over here, I think. Uh, I'll probably tag uh, that video of Joseph's, uh, the unboxing, I bought some stuff from him. I'll probably tag that video at the end. We really didn't get to talk about it. There's the paint guide. So you can uh, get those while you're at the model shop already. That's kind of neat uh, that you can do that. And uh, there you go, there's the skill level. So we're top of the scale, 14 plus as far as the US scale level. Uh, and this uh, it did say scale five, right? Yeah, scale five. And you can see that it's sealed, and um, we're gonna cut the seal because uh, I got one uh, mint in the box, and this one is kind of a little bit tattered, worn. No big deal. Uh, I, you know, I've, it really breaks my heart <laughs> uh, that I've got to open them. But there we go. This, for the record, is a sight to be unseen right here on Roverland. Doesn't happen that often. H helps if I turn the knife around. Cuts a lot better that way, just to let you know. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna take a look at this. There are videos out there on YouTube. Uh, you just go ahead and uh, search Land Rover, Rebel, Rebel Land Rover uh, models, and uh, there's quite a few guys no way, no way can I build one of these to the um, level of what these guys uh, on YouTube can do. They, you know, they have their own channels and uh, uh, building models, not just Land Rover stuff, but building models. So go check that out. The last time we saw a Revel Land Rover model was this one here in 132nd scale. Um, you know what? I might tag this video at the end. Um, you can go to the playlist and get the unboxing video of uh, um, Joseph. Maybe I'll tag this video at the end. But anyway, this is the Land Rover uh, 109 Series 3. Now, they made a couple of different boxes. This one came out in 1997. Uh, so they kind of a, a jump there from 
uh, almost 20 years, over 20 years, they finally put out a Land Rover model. Uh, there was there's this one, the Ott Tree Ott Deuce 5, um, which is uh, this one here. And then they did another one, which is um, Ott Tree Deuce 4 6, and it's a tan one, and it's facing the other way. It's like a Desert Storm one. So I think they just kind of changed up a little bit of the uh, the stuff. So so that was the last time we saw a Revel Land Rover uh, model, and uh, yeah, so uh, pretty pretty awesome. So let's uh, just go ahead and open this up. We're going to take a look at some of the model pieces and uh, parts that come in there. Here's the the wheels that come with it. Uh, nice package of vinyl vinyl rubber wheels here is the body this is very very nice very very nice we're going to take a minute we're just going to measure this real quick almost almost seven inches long yeah it's seven seven inches long very very nice and uh what is that two and a half two and a quarter inches tall so this is going to be a really nice model for you guys to uh to put together if you uh, brave that. I don't know, um, I, I would love to, to uh, do this. Uh, it would probably, you know, it would take many, many um, hours to build this. And, you know, we would not do a step-by-step. -step. I would probably do pictures and a time-lapse if, when and, when and if I uh, uh, decide to uh, take on a task like this. I've got, um, other projects there's the uh, the uh, safari roof that you see there that's the safari roof there that's awesome part of the wheels awesome awesome I have um, other projects and other things that I have uh, planned for Roverland and uh, you know the retail shop I've been talking about that and uh, so you know I, I cannot at this time dedicate uh, time and space in the in the shop here to put together this model and and uh to do it the the the, the way it should be done correctly i mean you spend thirty dollars on a model uh you know you need to uh you need to do it right you need to do it right so here is the uh so you saw we had plenty of uh plastic parts and pieces awesome here's the little booklet oh this now says level three didn't the box say level five? Box says level five. All right, I'm already confused. <laughs> but there you go. This is a very nice, very nice pamphlet here. Let's kind of take a look here on uh, what kind of uh, instructions and stuff like that. You know, does it have a uh, picturama? Oh yeah, there you go. This is the this is the kind that I like. You know, it has the numbers uh, times two. Time, you know, do this first, do that second. You know codes and uh, things like that so very very nice uh, uh, man whoa there whoa whoa hold on hold on holy cow <laughs> we, got, we got surprises in the jack oh man now I'm dropping stuff in the Cracker Jack box coming out there's, there's the decals let's just take a quick peek at those that are upside down of course oh yeah nice decal sheet there very very nice very nice. Put that back on there. So, yeah, that was tucked in this. Uh, I I think that's a little pamphlet that tells you how to how to do decals, and in the most professional way, you know. So that was cool. That was tucked in there. So, um, oh yeah. Of course, I'm gonna knock over everything. Yeah. So <laughs> I gotta redo my studio here for bigger projects. I got bigger Land Rovers that I want to show you, and I can't because it. My little studio, I gotta fix the backdrop. But anyway, all in a work in progress here. But uh, yeah, so very, very cool. Uh, I'm glad that I was uh, able to uh, pick this one up. You know, $30, that's kinda more than I, I normally spend on a on a uh, Land Rover, but this is a kit. Um, these are, I'm gonna tell you right now, these are gonna go up in price. Um, not that I'm an investor type uh, collector, um, but you know, you want to buy quality, you want to buy good stuff, 
uh, this would be one of those things that, uh, you know, you're not going to go wrong if you buy this and, uh, you know, hold on to it. I don't even remember how this all went. I'll have to watch the video and see how it was packed in there so I could pack it, pack it back in there. Boy, they had a bend to it and everything. Wowzer. All right. Yeah, because then we got to get the chassis in there yet. Oh, my goodness. That's not exactly how it went. And now it's not going to fit. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Yep, there you go. This is why I don't work at Santa's uh, <laughs> workshop. Well, I'm going to have to uh, take a look at this <laughs> and see how to pack it back in there uh, so it'll fit. But uh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, Land Rover uh, Series 3 109 from Rebel. The beautiful model. Uh, highly recommend if, uh, to get one. Uh, you know, like I say, I'm not a uh, um, collector for investment. I'm a collector because I love Land Rovers. But if you want to invest in something, this would be a good uh, good investment uh, for you. All right, that's it. I'm out of here for a one up Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hey, look, hit the like button. It doesn't hurt. It helps the channel so much. You'd be surprised. Uh, what goes on with uh, <laughs> YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, but the like button, hit the subscribe button. A lot of you are uh, watching and not subscribed. I'm, I don't hassle or we don't advertise, uh, you know, outside of the video. You know, we're not going to track you down to try to get you to buy anything off the video. So if you want to buy something, come on over to Facebook. Let me know and I'll sell you something. But otherwise, you know, being a member and subscribing, it doesn't hurt, but it helps immensely. That is the truth. All right, there we go. Come on over to Instagram, Roverland Channel as well. This is your friend Dan O saying adios. Thank you for joining me. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.